Okay, the next example, an aircraft is approaching you at 600 miles an hour. So here's the plane. It's obviously headed to the left in this diagram, and it's moving along at 600 miles an hour. And it's not coming directly at you because you're down here on the ground, and it's flying horizontally. Your line of sight to the aircraft makes an angle of 18 degrees with the horizontal. So let's draw this in. A line of sight to the aircraft here. That's an 18 degree angle. Then it says one minute later the angle is 50 degrees. So one minute later the plane has moved over to another location. Say it's right over here. And at that point the angle that your line of sight makes is 50 degrees. So this is 18 and this whole angle is 50 degrees. And you're told to find how high the aircraft is off the ground. So the height h right here is what we're looking for. Okay, now the plane's flying horizontally, so the height h is going to be the same in both cases. That's h and h. And look what we have. We have two right triangles that we can work with. This one, okay, because this height here is vertical, so with the ground there, that makes a, a right angle. And then a smaller right triangle over here. So that's a right angle also. And in 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 this in this triangle we have an 18 degree angle, and in this one we have a 50 degree angle. And we're trying to find the height. There's one other thing I need to realize in order to solve this problem. I know mathematically that distance is velocity times time. And you could write distance is rate times time, you could write d equals rt if you wanted to. The, a different notation right there is fine. Just know that the distance, I typically use x for distance, is velocity times time. And in this case we're told it's going 600 miles per hour. Okay, that's the, that's the velocity times the time. The time is one minute. One minute later for, for one minute, I'm going to put in 1 60th of an hour. And mathematically, the hours cancel. This hour right here is in the numerator, and that's in the denominator. So I have my calculation. I have 600 divided by 60 right there, and it's that many miles. So 600 divided by 60 is 10, 10 miles. That's how far the plane moved in one minute. So that's this distance right here. So write that on the diagram, 10 miles. Okay, now let's look at these two triangles. Let's look at this one over here on the left, 50 degrees. That's a 50 degree angle. And let's call this horizontal distance down here, call that x. Now think about the tangent function. Think about this 50 degree angle and the tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So in this particular triangle, the tangent of this angle is h over x. And that's a 50 degree angle. So we can write the tangent of 50 degrees is h over x. So let's write this. Let's write tangent of 50 degrees is h over x. And I'm going to solve that for h h is equal to x times the tangent of 50. And the calculator will give me a number for the tangent of 50. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I punch in tangent of 50 degrees in the calculator and I get 1.192. So h is 1.192x. Don't forget the x right there. Okay, now let's do the same thing with the other triangle. Over here, this one. Okay. In this case, the angle is 18 degrees. The tangent of 18 degrees is going to be h over this whole thing right here. And this bottom piece right here, you should see, is x plus 10. This was 10 up here, remember? So from here to here is 10. So this bottom side is x plus 10. So I can say the tangent of 18 is h over x plus 10. So let's come over here and write that. The tangent of 18 degrees 
is h over x plus 10. And then let's solve this for h also. h is equal to x plus 10 times the tangent of 18 degrees. And the tangent of 18 degrees is just a number that we can find on the calculator. And we punch that in and we get 0.325. So I'm going to write this. h is equal to 0.325 x plus 10. Okay, and from here it's just a little bit of algebra and it's not too bad. h is equal to this and h is equal to that. So logic compels me to conclude that this equals that. So let's write that. Let's write 1.192x equals 0.325x plus 10. And we can solve this for x. So let's distribute over here on the right. 1.192x equals 0.325x plus 3.25 and then we'll subtract 0.325x from each side and 1.192 minus 0.325 is 0.867 so on the left I have 0.867x and on the right I have 3.25 and then I just divide both sides by 0.867 and I'm left with x is equal to this 3.25 over 0.867 that's 3.749 now remember I was trying to find h I was trying to find this height okay, so back here I can use any of these equations I could use this or this and this one looks pretty easy so I'll, I'll use that I'll say h is equal to 1.192x And that comes out to 4.467 miles. So that plane is up pretty high.